Okay, we're January the 11th now, which is nearly at the halfway mark of dry January for me. Um, going strong. I've actually had a couple of the Brewdog non-alcoholic beers because they came in a pack of four um, with a couple of my dinners because I was missing that. You know, whilst I was doing the beer reviews, fine. But whilst I didn't have a beer and I was having dinner and my wife was drinking a glass of wine here and there, and I just felt that I actually wanted a beer. Um, and I had the non-alcoholic brew dogs. And I have to say, in that setting, it was kind of nice. Um, they are a little bit bitter, but quite a nice beer still. Anyway, we're going to go with three now from the sort of traditional sort of style as opposed to craft beer styles. Um this one is up next. It's Apostle Weissbeer Alcohol Free. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Views and Brews. I'm Brendan, and this is a beer that confused me a little bit. Now, I don't have um, Franciscana um, Weissbeer in front of me, or the Alcohol Free beer, but you'll notice that this looks very, very similar. I picked this one up in Dunn stores here in Ireland. Um, uh, it says Nach Deutschem Reinheitsgebot, which I'm guessing on the front of that really means uh, it conforms to the, you know, the German purity laws of 1516. Um, which basically means, you know, there's nothing in it that there shouldn't be. Now, wheat beers, um, or no adjuncts, I should say, um, wheat beers um, were sort of allowed uh, within the Reinheitsgebot. They came from a certain part of Germany, and uh, they, they've they just worked their way into uh, German brewing, and they conform perfectly well to the Reinheitsgebot. Um, but what does it say on here? 25 calories per 100 mils. This is a 500 mil can. Uh, so we are getting 125 calories from this beer. Um, now, there should be... Because it's got a lot of wheat in it, there should be a lot more um, uh, carbohydrates, which there is. There are 5.4 grams, of which 2.7 grams are directly from sugars. Okay, so there should be more proteins as well. Uh, and that's per 100 mils. So 525, 20, uh, like let's say 612, 20, uh, let's say 30, 30 grams of carbohydrates. Um, uh, let's say there's 369 to 15 grams of sugars. And then there is 2.5 grams of proteins and hardly any fat at all. So this should be a fuller tasting beer as a result of that. So you can see that on the back of a lot of these uh, alcohol-free beers. Let's crack this one open. Talking too much, sorry. Um, yeah, and let's get it in here. But you can... I've seen a sort of a trend in these German beers is that they tend to be more full-bodied, and that's because they've got a lot more uh, coloured... Um, highly coloured malt or wheat malt in it that is full of protein. Those things fill you out. Those things make the beer a little bit more enjoyable in terms of their flavour contributions as opposed to some of the lighter coloured non-alcoholic beers which may feel like they're lacking in alcohol flavour. Um, you know, it feels like they're missing something. And that's what we always look at when we try these beers. Look at this, unfiltered. This is all of the... Yeah, that's all the polyphenols that you're getting in there from, from the wheats. They're just naturally, they occur and they make a haze in the beer. But look at that for a fantastic head. Germans know how to get a good head of uh, foam on their beer. And it has that kind of sweet porridgey uh, note to it that a couple of these German non-alcohol-free -alcohol beers that I'm tasting, they have that to them. It's kind of like unfermented worts as well, put it. Anyway, God, that's really, really um, sweet and bready on the nose. Like, like really, really bready on the nose. 100%. Anyway, cheers. Well, let me have a couple more tastes that before I say what I initially think. Whoa. 
That one is really, really, really sweet. And it's on the verge of being cloyingly sweet. Um, by that, I mean, you get this sort of bombardment of like honey, honey sort of sweetness, honey, porridge, um, you know, barley and wheat, all just like, it feels like it's unfermented. It feels like I'm drinking uh, one of those alcohol-free beers that isn't necessarily a lager, we'll say, but has um, some of that that old style 80s 90s feel to it where it's just like they haven't come a long way in terms of what they're doing for their alcohol free audience um, it feels like it's missing alcohol and it feels like in place of that alcohol is a huge amount of honey honey wheat sweetness bready doughy sweetness that um it just feels like it's missing something The nose on it, the nose on it is actually annoying me a little bit um, because it's so sweet. Every time I put, every time I put it to my nose, it feels like um, that's a bit, you know, if you were to, uh, I guess if you were to blitz up a whole bunch of the white section of a loaf of bread, fire in a whole load of honey into it and, and add in a whole load of milk and water and just blitz that into some sort of smoothie and then put it up to your nose that's what I'm tasting now but like mountains and mountains of honey it's so sweet it's just it's it's not offensive but it's bordering on like something that I know that I could only drink one of and um, that's a good barometer in any case for alcohol free or alcohol uh, alcoholic beverages in general if they're if you say to yourself would I have this again would I want to go and buy this again would I want to go and get this or order it in a bar or buy it in a supermarket and if the answer is humming and har and not really sure then it's probably not the beer for you even though it might not be a bad beer but for, the, for me this one is um for me that's not good beer and the Franziskaner Weiss beer really was. So let's just have a look at that again. Um, yeah, Apostle Weiss beer. It's very misleading. It's kind of like one of these beers that's been brewed to look like Franziskaner. Um, and if you put them side by side, you'll see that they look very, very similar because there's a monk holding a, holding up um, a, a a pint of beer really now that's gonna be it for me I'm not really gonna drink the rest of that beer because I know I'm not gonna enjoy it uh, what I would do with this beer which would be absolutely fantastic is cook with it and this beer cost me about a euro in Dunn stores if you're looking to cook food and you want to add uh, like a stew or a casserole or some kind of a pie um, this kind of thing um, reduced down into any of those stews would make them fabulous. But in terms of it being a beer, it's not really done the trick for me. Anyway, that's my view on this brew and it's on to the next one. Cheers, bye, slancher, prost, whatever. Yeah.